bloody often. I should keep an eye on things. And mech money soon. Oh. Agreed. Need to be your mid tower. Right no idea where they are at the moment. Hello. They are here. Your mid tower needs a little help. Stay frosty. Oh. My. Oh, this is terrible. I, we had other players here, and I'm not actually sure where they went. Like, Pudge appeared to have wandered off somewhere. It was a bit strange. And I think I just failed to buy the mechanism again. I keep forgetting that shit. It's like, you use quick buy to make sure you buy before you die, but I'm too focused on the fight, and I keep forgetting about it. So, that's not brilliant. I like a TP in, but we have no one around outside of the Pudge. So, there's no point. We're just losing all lanes right now. We've taken two towers, and they've taken all our tier ones. And put a lot of pressure on the bottom tower. A lot of pressure. Maybe we can make something happen here. Oh, how is that not in range? Get in range on this shit. Not brilliant, apparently. Truly. I know, it's a frost blasts targeting, I think, is a, is a bit weird, and I'm not used to it yet. To, if it was light strike array, then I'd kind of know what I was doing, but frost blast is not quite the same. Yes. I'm gonna take this camp. Shouldn't take any damage really with ice armor. At least gets me a bit of cash and experience. Quickly! Alright. Yes. I'll eat that. I guess I'm doing the lane on my own. Oh, they wanna fight now. Oh. I have two wards, so I should be fairly well protected where I am right now, but I'm not oh, keen on the fact that I don't know where they are. I only only person I know is the Broodlord. Broodmother, not Broodlord. Starcraft terms. Truly. <laughs> I'll be back away. Might want to check your bottom tower. Yes. Broodmother killed another tower. Towers, toast. That's lovely. Remember to use my dust of appearance Dead whenever we see them next. Drifting. <laughs> They're just all over the place. Pushing all of our lanes. We're not able to really deal with it. We just need a good fight, I think, but we're not getting one. Okay, cool. I can afford the mech now. I should get... Towards too, actually, well on that. Oh, I guess we're all pushing. <laughs> Fortune favors the cold. Which I'm not 100 percent convinced <laughs> by, but it is what it is. Oh no, we're not all pushing now. So my oh, feeling is they'll all try and converge. Mechanism. Forward. It's gonna take me forever to get over there. Your mid towers in a bit of a Not only that, but I'll be spotted by the webs, right? Do they give vision? Wind. They give some vision, I think, isn't it, in the center? If I recall it, unless they change that. <laughs> Those are not real. As much as I wish that they were. Agreed. Alright, remember my dust of appearance. If we're gonna have a fight, remember that. Cold Don't forget the dust. Snap. Ooh, hello. All right. Silence. Come here so I can dust you. Shit. Okay, got her. In before complaining. All right. We're ready for the chain frost. Here it is. 
Oh my god! It wasn't enough! And... Yeah. Get the gem! Get the fuck out! <laughs> there you go. That was 4 on 5, because Klinx was farming top, apparently. So, that... 3 for 2? Hmm. I mean, it could have been worse, I suppose. Well, at least we got rid of the TA again. I'm just concerned about that broodmother. What's what's she on right now? Her farm's got to be crazy. She hasn't had that many kills. Oh, she's actually one for six. Wow. Okay, it's, it, it, killing the TA was actually a big deal. Her TA is hugely up, so... Cool. I guess that's, that's good then. Oh, I don't want to carry the gem. I'm too squish. You carry the fucking gem. <laughs> All right. Well, this is appropriate. <laughs> uh, right. Well, Veil of Discord. And this, I guess. Cold front coming. And let's go ward some more. Forward. And I still have a dust. And I still have some wards. So let's go be useful. I'll go ward bot. And go ward top. Some more wars in useful areas, like the other side, of course. <laughs> Hopefully, without getting killed in the process. Come on, hey. Bit of a, it's a bit of a risk to move there. That's okay. Oh shit! Stuff happening. There's someone there. Let's converge and try not to die in the process. What a little frost among friends. Agreed. We have the true sight and the dust of appearance. We should be fine. We should be able to kill the broodmother easily. Dead man and we can see them converging from on the side there. I need to set up a place. Am I hidden here? I hope so. All right. She. I mean, broodmother's got to die here, right? Silence. Oh, she got away. Watch yourself. Sweet. No, oh, Brood Mother's right there. He's right there. Cast it. Get back here so I can mech you. Don't run away from my mech. Please don't run away from my mech. Why would you run away from my mech? I have mech. No. Ugh. Yep, somehow that still ended up being a goddamn disaster. <sighs> oh dear. They're meaning to smash that bottom tower here. Already warding, they actually cleared well, the ward down there. Your bottom tower ain't long for this world. This ain't gonna end well, will it? No, my Let's buy more dead. wards of everything! There we go. <laughs> Fuck it. Four sentry wards. I am frankly sick of this bullshit. Adrift. Going. How good, how farmed is our Klinx anyway? Well, he's 4th 1 on kills, but let's have a look at his items. He has, he's got Demon Edge and Orc Malevolence and a Javelin. I think he's okay. Yes. So that should help late game. Oh, I thought I was actually logged Quickly. off Steam Friends List. Let's fix that before people decide to add me. I don't accept friend requests for those who are curious. Okay, there's the silence. Uh, can I TP in and be useful? Two down. Doesn't look like I'm even needed to. Hello, Legion Commander. Yeah, 
you're not going anywhere. Cool. We actually got that fight that we were looking for, which means we can take the tier one mid. Cold front coming. Let's pop some wards down while we do it. If this is down, we can maybe the put a sentry the mid -tower. in the mid here. Real Ooh, hello. Nice. Yeah. That's got to be dead one, right? Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. That's what we like to see. That's wonderful. Pop a ward down there. I think that blocks, blocks their creep cam, right? Is that how it works? Something like that. But this is doing well now. Is this graduation music for Americans? Because that's hilarious. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we graduated. Let's play a British anthem. Radiant's gone and fortified their structures. No, all back up. I think we might take base tower out of this. Prepare the mech. Mech is ready. Nothing left of the other fellas mid tower. Uh, yeah, let's yeah, let's just leave. That sounds fair. That sounds totally reasonable. Oh, she seems to want other things, but I can get out. Oh shit. Odie's dead. Yeah. I, why was Odie even there? Actually, isn't Odie faster than me? He could have got away. I'm not actually sure what he's doing there. Bit of a weird one. Oh, some dra ah, some Dragon Age. Yeah, some good Inons. Uh, what a comp- Oh, fuck! Well, this is terrible. Okay. Yeah, I got completely caught out. We'll buy the hat. And more wood. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really sure what Odie was doing back there, but I should have been faster. I don't know why I thought it would be okay for me to go and try and ward when they were back up and pissed, having lost like three towers. Like, yeah, they're probably gonna be annoyed. I should probably back off before they run me over, because Lich is so slow. That was my own fault. They also seem to have cleared some of our wards, although not all of them. I'm not sure if one of them has a gem now after that fight. Probably not. No gem there. TA. Being irritating. Cast up on the frozen shore. This ward is going to be very useful. Agreed. Let's see if we can get maybe a couple more in their jungle. Especially if we're pushing their lanes or whatever and they're just... Or, or more to the point, if our lanes are pushed and they don't want to come out of their jungle, they want to farm, it would be useful to know where they are. Some solid advice there. Attack base! Alright. Excellent. Feeling enthusiastic about that idea. Yes. I am not ready. Let's ward up here. A chill wind. Oh fuck T8. Wow, okay. I have this is a top. Right. And most of our team isn't here. I have no intention of letting her get away from this. It's just not gonna happen. There we go. Popping a sentry ward down to prevent invisibility may have been slightly overkill, but it did kill their carry, so... I don't hate the idea. Quickly! Where else is a good place? Ward here. I don't really know much about ward positioning. And they just lost another player for no reason. Okay, that's really bad for them. Alright. Sentry on the high ground's probably good. Prevents them with all the sneakery bullshit. Let's use ice armor. I keep forgetting to do that. There goes the other fellas mid rags. Mech gives mana, right? The no. other fellas just, mid rags. Just helping armor. Yeah. Cool. Top tower Sweet. Hurting. Time to leave. No breaking through the dire structures for now. Ward in the jungle above this lane would be good. Find a good place to put it. Wait, yeah. That's good. Gives a good amount of visibility. It's not too blocked by trees. The other fella's bottom tower's done for. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, well, we're not pushing, so bugger that. Maybe Roche? 
if they're going to be defending, and we have good ward coverage. We have, well, good-ish ward coverage. Wow, that's expensive. Good job I'm about to be able to afford that. Cold front coming. We may gather, yeah, yeah, we should be able to rush. Ward's decent. Okay, they don't want to rush. All right, well, I guess they're low on mana, so I suppose that's fair. Oh, not so much now. Yes. What exactly are we doing? I'm just I'm kind of curious. Forward. I mean, I'm going to follow and make sure they don't get themselves into trouble, but... Yeah, why don't we just do Roshan? Doesn't that make, make sense right now? Good. Klinx is taking the initiative. I like that. Klinx is a strong independent skeleton. They don't need no support. Actually, right now he really does need support. I don't want to burn my mech on this Roshan kill. <laughs> Just in case we get at the inevitable right after Roshan fight that happens. Cool. So Sven is even more annoying now. Which is fantastic. Who's going to take the invisibility? Pudge should take it. There you go. Pudge has got a bottle. That will be great for him. Alright. Time for more pushing. I guess just push the lane, get some farm. I don't actually know where they are right now. Even though I have many wards, I apparently don't not have enough wards. So, obviously, we need to buy more wards. Because the only way I will reach 7k MMR is to buy more wards. And we'll buy sentry wards too, because they have invisibility. And that doesn't work at all. <laughs> Let's not do that. And I have this Veil of Discord that I should probably use too. Emits a magic weakening, so you should use that and then hit them with Chain Frost. <laughs> so, I like that idea. We have an invisible Pudge, which is great. We have a mech, we have a Veil of Discord, and a Chain Frost that is not the level 3 yet, and doesn't have Aghanims at all. Oh, is he going in? Wow, he's brave. Okay, uh, this is going to get pretty messy, I think. Don't want to mech on just one. What is he hooking at? Quickly. He's hooking at something, but. Have fun trying to bust down radiant structures now. Make sure I saw him here. Save the mech until someone else is. Actually, there's, there's clearly enough people here that justifiable. Chain Frost goes off! Unfortunately, that thing has a Black King bar. Which is very, very bad news for everybody. I'm going to leave. He used Dust of Appearance to find the nothing, which was great. Pretty happy about that. Cool. Alright, well I got out and four of us died. And somehow Sven died even though he had Aegis. So he must have died twice. Again, I'm not really sure how that actually happened. But it did. So, I suppose what we need are more wards. <laughs> I don't think wards would have helped there, but they could help in other places. Yes. Uh, ward. This is really stupidly risky. I shouldn't even be here. But my team's about to respawn, so, you know, what's the worst that can happen if I die at this point? So, ward there. Oh, you can do auto-cast on armor. That's cool. Didn't know that. Although, that would probably cast... That doesn't cast on creeps, though, right? Because that would be awful. Speaking of creeps, I should actually eat something. There we go. What? Where's the thing with the magic staff? Is that got the magic staff? It does. Alright, yeah, auto-cast seems cool. Let's get the wards. I have a new set of sentry wards that I can use. We know we're pretty safe here. But we can we can ward even better than this. I think. Dead this man is... Oh drifting. shit. Well, we know Legion Commander's there. And we have Clinks too. So Quickly. Yeah, we might be able to answer something. Hello, Legion Commander. There's the slope. And now Clinks is going to horribly murder him. For hit. Oh, we're ready for the Discord. And the Bouncy Frost! 
which did fuck all. But it doesn't matter, because it dies anyway. Oh, I didn't use the Bouncy Frost. Okay, that's even better. Alright. Oh, I think we win. Here's Mechanism. Let's go. Yeah, I think that's you. Force field? You want force field? What was that for, Uh, Friendly fire? I actually don't know what FF means. In StarCraft, that means force field, so I don't know. Oh, there's only one hero there. That's disappointing. I don't get to chain frost their fountain before we win. But hey, whatever works. Oh! <laughs> GG. Finish fast. Okay, cool. Sweet, that went alright. Uh, yeah, so the the posters and stuff on the shirts are going to be ready tomorrow. All going to be ready tomorrow. In fact, I think uh, I should have an image. I can show you a preview of how the shirt looks. It's pretty cool. All Pudge's Pro Pudge, of course. <laughs> GG. Yeah, we, we had a bit of a delay because we're doing a... We're kind of, it's weird. We're doing a limited edition of a limited edition. We're gonna have... We're gonna put the shirts on for a month, because a lot of you asked we want the shirts on sale for longer, because, like, you know, it sometimes lands when we don't get a paycheck, which is fair. So we said we're gonna do it for a month, but we were able to get a small number of these, like, uh, special edition ones that have this kind of gold embossed leaf on them, which I, I hope they will look good. I should find out tomorrow, but they'll complete those tomorrow, and then I can go on sale. And they're, they're gonna be ten bucks more. Completely optional, of course, and they'll be available for one week. Um, we're also trying to, like, get you guys some free shipping and things like that. So, and we're doing the best we can to make a good deal. And the posters are much larger, and they're actually, like, textured and things this time. Because people were saying the posters are too small. I agree. So, we've got some much bigger posters that are only, like, two bucks more expensive. So, uh, hopefully that should be good. Uh, let me see if I can find the concept, uh, for the shirt. I'm just gonna, I'm just looking through my Skype information at the moment. We'll have a look at for the concept. If you want to watch a good stream, incidentally, about Dota, then you should watch Universe Play, because Universe is very good. Uh, Universe's play uh, TI4 was inspiringly good. Really enjoyed that. It's definitely worth watching. That certainly made the uh, EG watching experience very pleasant. Yeah, I'll just have a, a quick look. So yeah, I did show you guys what the poster looks like. I am just trying to find the shirt. I talk a lot to Chris, as you might imagine, so I'm not actually 100% sure where this is. Nope, not there. That's all stuff that's clearly not relevant. Damn. I'm having difficulty finding it in my Skype history. We're also doing women's fit, by the way. Uh, for those who asked. Cool. Uh, so this is the... This one I'm going to show you here is the first draft. The final version, the logo is slightly bigger than this. So just bear that in mind. Uh, but this was the first print they did of it. But I've put that in the chat for you, so you can have a look. The The final version, the 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 overall print is slightly larger than that. And I believe on the special edition shirt, like, the, the kind of goldish color will actually be like an emboss. Um, which is supposedly going to look amazing, hopefully. So, that has now been posted in chat for you if you want to have a look at it. The shirts are probably, we're probably doing the release tomorrow. Uh, it's the 1st of August, so it makes sense. So, we release it on the 1st, and then it goes the entire month. Um, no, it doesn't come in any color. We're just doing black. Uh, the problem with uh, doing these shirts is that we have to kind of print some of them in advance. Like, to make even, like, a reasonable margin on a shirt, you've really got to order them first. Like, a lot of these sites that do custom shirts and things like that are not great because they, they do sort of print on demand and the margins are terrible. Like, it's not even worth doing it at that point. I, you know, Chris spent a long time doing the design and things like that. I know the print never was over time. If you've ever bought a Rodeo Arcade shirt, any of the stuff that we do, 
you'll notice that they seem to just, like, survive the wash forever. I've had my... My favorite shirt is actually the the old uh, old Fanboys Must Die shirt. I wear that, like, probably every week, and it goes to the wash over and over again. It's really high quality. Nothing's happened to it. So, you know, the, the shirts from Radio Arcade are pretty expensive. I'll definitely give you that, but you do get what you pay for. They don't... You know, they really don't wear off at all. And they're very comfortable, as many people will probably tell you. That's the only reason I keep going with that company. So, yeah, we have to we have to sort of print them in advance, which means that doing different colors means doing, like, a whole new print and things like that. And we often have to make uh, changes to the designs and the colors, which means that we have to redo the, the sort of templates and the sets that they use for the printing, which costs a lot of money. So we tend to stick to making black. Oh. It'll be usual. Uh, it'll go up to 3X, I believe. So... Yeah, it, it, it's small, medium, large, XL, up to 3XL uh, is the size we're doing. And we'll do the women's fit as well. Because we got a lot of people interested in the women's fit. So we're going to give it a try. Like, about only about 5% of my demographic is actually female, according to my YouTube stats. Which, of course, will be a bit off. But mo it's mostly males that watch my content. So I figure that it makes sense to try doing a women's fit and see if it's worthwhile. And hopefully we just don't lose money on that. Yes, they renamed it to the Maker Store. Don't like that. I'm going to keep calling it Radio Arcade. Uh, also, we will accept Bitcoin for the first time. Uh, just making you aware of that. Um, we were sort of arranging some stuff with Bitcoin. Obviously, like we're sponsored by our slash Bitcoin for the uh, uh, for the team. So we're going to allow you to pay in Bitcoin if you wish to do that. So if you have some Bitcoin lying around, you can buy our shirts with it if you wish. And we'll do, we'll do a bundle as well, so you'll save a little bit of money. Yeah, I understand. Wearing black in Arizona is probably a terrible idea. <laughs> It'll be all right in the winter months. It'll keep you nice and warm during the winter months. There you go. Uh, I definitely get that. I have a few not black shirts just for that very reason. Simply because sometimes in North Carolina it's very, very warm. Yeah, r slash Bitcoin sponsors the team. They're, they're a fairly... You know, it's a fairly small sponsor. It's just a little community sponsorship, but... They, we took a sponsorship from them. We arranged it because it was the, it was the R slash Bitcoin guys that arranged the big Bitcoin show match, the really cool match between Naniwa and Scarlet. So I had a good working history with them. The shirt is not available yet. It's going to be available tomorrow. That being first of August. It's currently one a.m. So we're going, we're planning on putting it on sale. I think midday EST. So you'll be able to buy it then. And they'll be available for one month. And we're going to try and get some free shipping for a limited time. We can't do free shipping the entire time. Like, it's a lot of our viewers are outside of the US. Free shipping, like, basically destroys the margin on the shirts. So we'll do it, but for a limited time. Because I know, you know, I, I know shipping sucks. It's really annoying. Uh, you know, what would be ideal is if we had printing places in multiple locations around the world. But if we did that, the cost would be really high. So... We're trying. We're trying our best. You know, at the end of the day, it's all optional merchandise. You don't have to buy it. So, But people get upset about t-shirts for some reason. I don't really know why that is. So, I've, I've always had to turn comments and ratings off on every t-shirt announcement video I've done because people just irrationally hate shirts. Like, really? It's, it's a shirt. You don't have to buy it. It's, you know, it's a good way for us to get an influx in cash. And, and since we, uh, yeah, actually Jen announced this, so I guess I can tell you here, we're actually buying this house now. And we didn't really want to, like, well, we did, but not right now. Yeah, because obviously I'm in the middle of medical stuff, so I don't necessarily really want to do anything like that. But the uh, the owner was wanting to sell, and we really don't want to lose this house. Like, this house is like one in a million. I did not say a million dollars. I said one in a million. It's got everything we want. It's in such a great neighborhood. Absolutely, you know, absolutely love the house. All the facilities are great. I want to live here for a long time. So he was going to sell the house. We would have had to move out in three months, right in the middle of my second round of chemo. Single draft. I don't blame him for that. You know, the guy like lives in China. We can't obviously talk to him because you can't talk directly to the landlord if he goes through a property agency. It's actually illegal. Do I play? Le I know. I want to play Crystal Maiden. I am much, much happier playing Crystal Maiden. Um, I would try Legion Commander, but I'm better with Crystal Maiden, and I won't suck horribly, so we'll do that. Um, 
So we wanted to buy, but we didn't want to buy now. So we've basically, we've put together um, an agreement, which involves like a deposit and an option to buy in the next couple of years. But you're right. Rent is throwing cash away. Absolutely. You know, I'm 30. I have decent.